have this friend, and I noticed it's a new friend, and I noticed our relationship was lacking emotional depth, and and I haven't felt like I've really gotten to see his heart and who he is, and I've been wondering why, like why is that? And the other day I had a conversation with him about emotions, and discovered that he believes that it is actually wrong for us to feel sadness for ourselves, for us to feel hurt, for us to feel pain, but rather we should just feel sadness for the other person, whoever's like messing up. For example, he gave this example as if he were married and he caught his wife committing adultery on him, he believes that it is the godly thing to do to feel sadness for his wife because of the bad decision that she is making rather than sadness for himself. And and then even he gave an example of a friend that he has that was at a wedding for her sister and she had the like she was sad, she was crying at the wedding because her sister was her best friend and she was really sad to lose that relationship dynamic that she's had with her sister because her sister's not getting married. And, um, and he was saying that he believed that this was not right, that this was really selfish of her to be crying for herself rather than just being really happy for her sister because her sister's been wanting this in her life. And I think it's totally off. been learning over the past 10 years, that in order to be able to connect with God and connect with each other, we've got to be able to enter into our hurt, the sadness, that sadness, hurt, pain. We've got to have the courage to go there and to really feel it. And um, because without being able to feel it for ourselves, there's no way for it, us to empathize with other people when they're going through that same thing. It is so not okay or safe to tell someone who is experiencing hurt and pain that you shouldn't be experiencing that, that you just need to get over it and you're being selfish and, and just forgive and move on or, or whatever. Like that is not a loving, empathetic, Thing to do that will help you connect to people. Um, it is so important to be able to empathize with them and sit in that. And, and more so, like, this is how God is with us. Like, He feels hurt. He feels sadness. He feels pain. When we reject Him, He feels sad, not only for us because it's not beneficial to us, but also for himself. He desires to have relationship with us. And he is sad when we reject him for himself, for his own sake. Jesus said he wanted, he so longed to be a hen and and have those chicks under his wings. And like that was a longing for himself. It wasn't just her own loss. It was that also, but it was a longing for himself. And he allows us to affect him emotionally, like, I, it's, yeah, he's just vulnerable in that way, and it's really important in order to be able to connect, to be vulnerable, to allow others to affect us emotionally, to allow ourselves to experience hurt and sadness and pain when there is hurt and sadness and pain, and to acknowledge our emotions. And, yeah, something else that came up in that conversation was um, before I started going to counseling 10 years ago, I was under the impression that anger was wrong, um, that sadness for myself that was wrong, that it was selfish, that um, being offended was wrong. And, and so I tried really hard 
to not feel those things because I thought those feelings were wrong. And, and just, you know, forgive and forget and be oh so holy in that way. And through counseling, I realized that emotions are really important. And it's really important to acknowledge what we're feeling. It doesn't mean that those emotions are based on truth. We might have a bad perception of what's going on and that which are, is affecting our emotions, but it's still important to pay attention to them and acknowledge them and explore them and address them and see like, is this thing, like I'm feeling this for a reason is it based on truth or not? And and seeing if it is. Oh, and so, okay, so me trying not to feel these quote unquote negative emotions that we have, really what it produced in me was I was suppressing the emotion so that I wouldn't feel it because I thought that was more godly, more spiritual, more righteous. And what it actually produced in me was a lot of suppressed hurt, suppressed anger, suppressed pain. Um, It made it so that I was very surface level. I couldn't empathize with others. I couldn't sit with them in their hurt. Um, I couldn't connect with them. I couldn't connect as well with God. And even though I thought that I was forgiving and being forgiving, I had a humongous of unforgiveness. I had so much unforgiveness and so much resentment because I wasn't acknowledging what was actually going on. I wasn't being honest with myself or with others. And it just it's a lie. It's a deception that that these emotions, that anger, sadness, pain are bad. It's it's a lie. And um, it's really important to be willing to sit in them and to experience them, and to work through them, and to talk to people about them, to go to the person. Jesus tells us, you know, if your brother offends you, go to them. Be reconciled before you make sacrifices to him. If you're offended by your brother, if they've done something against you, go to them. Be reconciled, and then make sacrifices to God. Don't just ignore that anger that comes up when someone has wronged you. Don't just ignore the the pain and the hurt from whatever has happened or the the tension that you feel in a relationship. It's it's really important to go to them and be reconciled. And um, yeah, that's something else that I've been learning in my relationships is, is how to go to people and bring up bring stuff up like hey is there something that I've done that's offended you like I don't want there to be any bad blood between us Um, and I've discovered that that clears the air like sometimes it's nothing sometimes it's something Um, but just acknowledging that feeling that I'm having that that I feel like there's some tension there or I feel like there's a bit of hurt or anger on my side or their side and addressing it is it saves so many relationships and brings a relationship closer and um, provides a new level of connection. So, yeah, it's just it's just so important to to value our our emotions and how we're feeling for the sake of connecting with others and connecting with God. Yeah, we can't just be in our mind. We've got to to be okay with with experiencing the hurt and the pain and the anger and the disappointment and the jealousy.